lot, you know, um, in a couple of possessions they had four or five of them, you know, that uh, really hurt us. But um, we just kept running, uh, playing our game, moving the ball, and uh, getting wide open shots. Yep. Mm-hmm. Seemed like it was probably your most complete performance as a team just throughout the season. And Harrison said it was, there was a focus on, on details. Are, are there specific details that, that stood out that to you that, that lead to a performance like that? Um, yeah, like I said before, um, coaches wanted us to attack, touch the paint. They all collapsed, they got a lot of length, you know, and then uh, the goal was to drive and um, find find open shooters, you know, and, and then especially a uh, run in transition. They're a very tall team, um, not as fast getting back, so just uh, pushing them and uh, trying to get in their legs. You kind of but, touched on it there, just dealing with their length. Uh, how well do you think you guys um, answered that and how much do you think that kind of stemmed from the Orlando game? Um, you know, um, all, we played our game, you know, I was talking to Karen and he's like, damn, you guys run so fast, like we're tired out here, you know, so um, we just kept, we just kept playing our game. We've been playing at that speed since we started training camp and um, some teams are not used to it, you know, and uh, when they come to this building, uh, we got to, we got to do it 48 minutes. And, and then just that fourth quarter, I mean, the way some of those guys responded defensively, you see the game that obviously Garland had, I mean, how much do you feel uh, that? really boosted you guys not only tonight but can do so for you guys for the future uh, yeah um we locked in in the, in the fourth quarter when we did most you know uh, we haven't been able to finish games and uh today we did we knocked down shots and we got stops when it mattered so um that's really important we're gonna watch film and uh, build on that the month of the last time you guys was at home um you had mentioned i think it was after the memphis loss that hey we are uh, sticking with the the coaches plan uh just have to believe in it uh is that what's been happening here, you know, through all this adversity? You guys haven't strayed off of anything um, as far as your work ethic? Uh, no, um, I mean, we're in there practicing every day um, uh, for a long time, uh, working on our game. And um, coach says it for every game. Uh, we do the work. We practice. We're in the gym for hours. And um, it's time to go out there and uh, show it on the court. Domas, uh, Mike talked about he's just now learning you guys. You guys are learning him. Um, do you feel that that I mean you only played 15 games here last year, so even the small sample size you had, that's not enough to really get a flow with some of these players. Yeah. But now, do you feel like you guys are starting to learn each other? Uh, yeah, you know, on top of that, even more players during the summer, <laughs> new players. So uh, the more games we get, uh, the more we get to learn ourselves, the more Mike gets to learn us, and um, it's only the beginning. We have time to to develop this uh, uh, chemistry with the coach too, that uh, he can put us in in the right positions to succeed. How would you describe sort of the, the spark that Malik gives you guys? And it seems like he's doing it on both sides of the floor. Um, he's, he's been amazing. You know, um, we have this two-man game with him in the pick and roll that I love playing with him. He's a great shooter, always ready, you know, and on top of that, off the court, always smiling, joking around, you know, putting everybody in a, in, in a great mood. All right, thanks everyone. Thanks, Jemma. Thanks, guys. Bye.